That's a lot of sparkle. I think this is another one favorite. High school Raylan, lace and tool. That was that was my jam and then Adult Raylan was like, psych! Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello! So today I am so excited for this video. I'm going to show you guys all of the wedding dresses I tried on. So I tried on a total of 16 wedding dresses and if I'm going to be honest, I thought I would try on more than that. <laughs> I definitely thought I would try on like 30 and above wedding dresses because I just love dress shopping. <laughs> And I am very indecisive. I'm a very indecisive person. And so I thought this would take me a long time. I went to two different dress shops. I went to one with my mom and tried on 10 dresses. And then I went to the second shop with two of my bridesmaids where I tried on six and ultimately found my dress. So I think that knowing kind of what I wanted did help with the process. I definitely tried on like other styles of dresses because, you know, as a bride, you're told you might have an idea of what you want, but try on other things because you might end up getting something else. And so I did do that, but I kind of knew what I wanted and I knew that like, that's what I was going to get. <laughs> and I was right, <laughs> but it was still fun to try on some other things as well. All right, so this is the first dress I tried on. I knew that I wanted something classic, smooth gown. I didn't want anything too crazy or too like busy. So this one was really pretty. I love the the top and how it like swooshed. It had a slit on it, which was really nice. I really liked the slit on this because it just gave some leg, but then also you'd be able to see the shoes I picked out. <laughs> I'm a shoe person, so like the, if I, you know, I could show off my wedding shoes without having to like lift my dress. I really liked it. The slit was nice, and it was nicely hidden, because like if you when you first look at it, you don't see the slit. The one thing that I, I didn't like about this dress was that it was strapless. I, I'm a, I'm a dancer, I like to dance, I like to get down with it. <laughs> and so I didn't want something strapless. So, it was a no. The next dress I tried on, she, stunning, absolutely beautiful, I love the the top i love the lace up top and then how it kind of like trickled down into the tool i also love the back that's got like a corset feel to it i thought that that was just a really stunning touch to the dress what i didn't like was well one it's strapless again and two i didn't love the train i understand it's it's tool so like it made sense but i didn't like that you could see the ground under the train because of the tool material, which is something that I hadn't thought of before. Like the lace on it, I think is pretty, how it goes like up the buttons and then like along the train, but just the fact that you can see the ground. I don't know, I didn't like that. All right, here was the next one. I actually really, really like this one, which I was surprised by, because I didn't think I would like anything more like form-fitting, I guess. And actually at this dress shop itself, this was my second favorite. The, the neckline is just beautiful, the nice, swoop and it's just such like a classic clean look to it and then it's also got the slit on it which was gorgeous and it's got the buttons down the back and the swooped back oh I love this dress it was so pretty I, uh, the the thing that I didn't like about this dress was because it was so like fitted to you you could see lines <laughs> so like you'd be able to see my underwear line. <laughs> I, I, for the wedding day, I want to be able to wear whatever undergarments are most comfortable for me and not having to find something that you wouldn't see in the dress, you know? So that was ultimately why I probably didn't pick this dress was because I just didn't want to have to worry about that. But besides that, this is just stunning. It's absolutely stunning. I, looking back, I probably, this was my favorite from this shop to be honest, but I, I'd rather be comfy. <laughs> Not have to worry about that stuff. Oh, and then they added these sleeves on there. Oh my God, I forgot. And then they added these little swoop sleeves and oh, I just fell like, even more in love with this dress. It's so pretty. Oh, I do love her. So this is the next one I tried on and this was a dress that I said was my favorite. And looking back, I preferred the previous one. <laughs> So good thing that I didn't like, you know, do anything about it. At the time, this one was more of what I envisioned myself in, but I definitely think the other one was, was better. 
was prettier. But I did love this. I love the material of it and this little like swoopy thing on, on the chest. And it had pockets, which you know I'm a girl for pockets. It did have these like spaghetti straps, which were, I thought looked really pretty in the way that they lay like on the back. And then of course it had buttons down the back. That was another thing that I really, really wanted is I wanted buttons down the back. I didn't care. I mean, I did care about the look of the dress, but the big, one of the biggest, most important things to me was it had buttons all the way down. So this one was uh, so pretty and just that train is just so full and gorgeous. Yeah, looking back, that was not my favorite from this shop. <laughs> but she was pretty. She was pretty. It, it just, there was just not that like wow factor to it, you know? Yeah. All right, next we have this one. This is one of those that like I didn't, it's not a style that I like super wanted, but I was gonna try it on to try different things on. A little too like deep in the V for me personally. And the back also like just went down really low. Not, it was not really, I don't know, it just like the back just didn't, it, it didn't, it didn't do it for me. It just wasn't, I don't know. I don't know what it is about the back. I just wasn't, I didn't like it. Not my favorite. It's a gorgeous dress. Just wasn't for me. It just looks weird on me. So this one was a full lacy one because, I mean, if you ask high school Raylan what her dream wedding dress was, it was full lace. <laughs> so I had to make sure I tried one on and it was very pretty. And it had, it's kind of like a mermaid style. And then at the bottom, like there was tulle in it and the tulle was sparkly, which was a really cool. And the I love that the straps had like the little lace to it as well. I thought that was a really pretty touch and the train, oh, look at this train. This train is just gorgeous and I love it, but <laughs> again, it's tool so you can see the floor and I don't know why that bothers me so much, but there's just something about it. I don't know, because I'm like, when I, when I envision like walking down the aisle and like that shot of me walking in, like you see the train, like I want to be able to focus to be on the dress and not if there's like flower petals underneath me that are like stuck under the dress that you can see or, I don't, I don't know. I feel like it sounds so silly saying out loud, but it's just something I just didn't, I didn't like. And so I feel like that took tool dresses out of the running for me because that's how all the trains are going to be for tool dresses. This dress is <laughs> so pretty. It was just the detailing on it. Sheer and then you've got like kind of like 3D flowers on there a little bit and then some like sequins and it was a lot going on but it was absolutely gorgeous. It was very, very sparkly. And minus the fact that the train, you can see through it, it, it was too sparkly. It was way too sparkly. And like high school Berlin would be like, what? It was all the sparkle. But I don't, it was just too, it felt, mm -mm. for me, it just, it didn't, it didn't do it for me. I didn't feel like a bride being in that much sparkle, if that makes sense. It's a gorgeous dress, absolutely beautiful. It just didn't feel like a bride dress to me, if that makes sense. All right, this next one was, wow. But, oh. This is another one that like kind of had like the 3D flowers and lace and tulle and sequins and sparkles and so much sparkles. I don't know if you can see, but the skirt is so glittery, so glittery. And it was just too much for me. And I think someone who, who loves a lot of sparkle and bling and glam, I think this would be a beautiful option for you. For me, it just felt like too much. The sparkle in the dress was too sparkly. Like the dress before was sparkly. This one was like 10 times more sparkly, which I didn't think would be possible. But because of the sparkle, it was, I, it was a no for me for this one. But gorgeous, gorgeous dress. And if you like sparkle, this one. That's a good option. I mean, just look at this. Look at the the train. This one, you can't see through. It's tool, but you can't see through the bottom. But that sparkle. All right, this next dress, the, the other like simple one I loved. So I tried another one on. It's a beautiful dress, but the train, I could not get over the train on this one. The like, 
I don't know the shape of it. I I I couldn't I couldn't get over the shape of the the train of this. It, it, it looks like a giant flower, which I guess like kind of would have like worked for the wedding and like what I loved the the back of this where it's got the little like Drape and then behind it underneath it was lace. I thought that was mwah, Beautiful. I love that element, but it, I just I couldn't get over the train on this one it was tragic the back was gorgeous. Another like experimental dress. This one was a like two piece dress. So you got the main dress and then the tulle part like uh, uh, detaches. And I thought it was very, very pretty. And I love that I could have had like two different like looks. So like I could have like had the tulle train on for the ceremony and then taken it off. And then I would have had like a gorgeous dress for like the reception and everything else. But I love the aspect of the detachable train skirt. But I didn't like the I didn't like it. <laughs> and while this dress had beautiful detailing and everything, I didn't like the lining of the boobs. <laughs> Ugh. But such a cool idea. It's kind of like getting two dresses for one. This makes more sense. So I put back on the one from earlier that I said was my top choice. And I loved it, but I feel there was something missing and I was right so then the lady pulls another dress for me that was really similar so she pulled this one and it's got I love that it's like a cross like this for the the, the top I thought that that was gorgeous I had the full skirt that I loved and the gorgeous full train and then I love the back of this one that it's just got a little hint of lace up top oh, I thought that was just just gorgeous. I I absolutely love this dress and I uh, thought this was gorgeous, but it it was strapless. Uh, uh, such a pretty dress. I did love this, but I didn't want to commit to it. I didn't feel the like magical moment people talk about. And so it was a no. So after 10 dresses, that was it. So that was my first dress shop that we went to. And I, of course, you know, was looking all over the internet, all over Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok, wedding dresses, and I found this dress that I just fell in love with. I thought it was gorgeous, it was what I wanted, what I was looking for, and I was determined to find it. And I ended up finding a dress shop here in Arizona that had the dress. And so I called, made an appointment, and two of my bridesmaids came with me. So for this dress shop, you, you get like little like clippies. And you go around the shop and you clip five dresses you want to try on. And then at the end of the session, based on how it went, comments you made, things like that, then my, the, then the beautiful, wonderful lady, I can't think of the proper term, she would pull a dress for me. So we walk around and I, f and I, I show her a picture of the dress that I want, that I was there for. And put a clip on that dress, gotta try that one on. And then I picked four other ones. And in my brain, I was like, I'm here for this dress. This is going to be the dress. So the rest of these can just be like for fun. So the dress I went there for was the first dress I tried on and it was stunning. It's a beautiful gown. I love the, the top, how it's just so like smooth across which got just a little bit of the dip Ugh, gorgeous it's got the full skirt the train is just gorgeous i even love the big bow on it i thought it was fun but the one thing that killed it was the straps it's a spaghetti strap dress and i'm sure you can tell just by looking at the dress how big it is and how heavy it is the material of this dress I don't remember the exact thing but it she said it was like thicker so not only was this dress made of thicker material but it was also a big ball gown with a big train and for it to be held up by the spaghetti straps it was it was too much it like I after a few minutes of standing in it I could feel the weight pulling down and I was like there's no way I could wear this all day and like I I get red really easily and so my shoulders would just be red after 30 minutes an hour of being in the dress and then being all the pictures and all that and so it broke my heart that this dress I thought this was it I thought this was the dress and the straps just the straps did it for me. I, I, I couldn't do it. 
So then we continue on with the rest of the appointment and I try on the other four dresses. So this was the next dress I tried on. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. I did love the tool and the lace in it. This is the dress high school Raylan would have been head over heels for, which is why I clipped it because I thought, mm, maybe we'll see. Like just the, the detailing on the top. Oh, it's a kind of see-through, but not totally. It's like the top is just a little bit sheer but it's got the flowers and some sequins on there. And then the skirt is just full of life and has like texture in it. And it's got some lace details here and there. It was really pretty, but there, there was no train. And I really wanted a big dramatic train. So I think this would be perfect for like dance floor and like dancing and not have any problems with that, but it didn't have the train that I wanted. And because the style dress, it didn't have buttons all the way down. This was the next one. I thought this was sh stunning. I, I think pretty, if I remember correctly, I think this was on a mannequin. And so we kind of got to see it like uh, displayed instead of just hanging on a hanger. Me and my two bridesmaids were like, yes, you gotta try this one on. <laughs> and it, it didn't disappoint. It was, oh my God, so pretty. The top of the, like the sheer, but it's got the corset look to it with uh, some like the lacy flowers and then the tulle skirt i was actually surprised the sleeves they're an attachment so they weren't part of the dress they you could like take them on and off which i thought was really cool and then the train because there was material underneath of like that ivory beigey color it, the, it wasn't see-through <laughs> and it was just so full it looked like an ocean of material uh absolutely stunning while i love this dress i think it is absolutely gorgeous it just didn't feel like me like it was gorgeous and i bet you any bride who's ever picked this dress looked absolutely stunning in it it just wasn't me all right so the next dress we tried on was a little bit more kind of more along the style that i wanted so we tried this beautiful dress had this smooth material but it was strapless which I didn't like and then I just wasn't a fan of the top either the the, the V I don't know I don't like the way that they like came up and kind of like it was like like it came up and then it was like for my armpits I don't know I feel like that looked weird and then the sides kind of like sticked out a little bit I think it's a gorgeous dress and it has a very nice train it was just too it just wasn't me it just didn't fit my my personality you know yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. This dress that I tried on was a hundred percent just a try on for fun dress because never in my life would I've ever picked a dress like this for my wedding. <laughs> just just for fun. It's a gorgeous dress. Absolutely gorgeous. It's I love the like sheer material rhinestoning and pearls uh, all along here and goes along the back and then like the sides that are open and then like tracing it. It was really, really pretty and also beads all the way down with just a nice simple train. It was gorgeous, but 100% just trying for fun dress. <laughs> okay, so that was the five dresses that me and my bridesmaids picked out to try on. So then it was time for the consultant, that's the word, for the consultant to pick a dress for me. So she took everything that I said about all the dresses, what I liked, what I didn't like, and she went and she pulled a dress. So we went in the dressing room to put it on and I stepped into the dress and when she pulls it up, I, I got that feeling of just like, oh my, oh, this is gorgeous. Like I just had that. A feeling that I didn't feel when I put on every other dress I had tried on up to that point and I loved it I thought it was gorgeous and then she put on the sleeves <laughs> so this one if you look it up and you find it it comes with these puffy sleeves that are kind of snow white -esque. and my face just like <laughs> when she put the sleeves on, the, I, the, the sleeves were not for me. I do think that they're pretty on the right person. I just, they're not for me. I also don't really like the character of Snow White and it reminded me too much of Snow White and I was not gonna dress like my least favorite princess on my wedding day. My bridesmaid Lily, bless her soul, she was like, do you not like those sleeves? It, can we do different sleeves? I'm really glad I had her there to like speak up for me because I, I needed that extra like little push, you know? And so the Colton's like, oh, absolutely. She took the puffy sleeves off and then she put on little droopy sleeves for me and 
and that was it. She put veil on me. This was it. I knew that this was a dress. It had the, the smooth material that I was looking for. The sleeves were just gorgeous. It had a sweetheart neckline, but it wasn't like a full sweetheart neckline. I forgot what it's called, but it's like a a smaller, gentler version of sweetheart, I think. It was just beautiful and so simple and classic and has a beautiful train with beads on the back and switching the sleeves really saved the dress for me. Here's a picture that I, I sent to everyone of me. We went out so I could see it in like the sunlight and I I just fell in love with it and and what's funny is that because when I tried on the dress the first time it was big on me so she had to clamp me in it. Me nor my two bridesmaids like really paid attention to the upper back area of the dress and noticed it but when I went back to pick up my dress when it was ready in September we noticed the back and it had these like V like downward shapes like to like ah, so pretty <laughs> this is me when I picked up my dress and because the sleeves aren't made with the dress itself they just gave me extra material to get added to my dress when I go to alterations so that was all of the wedding dresses I tried on each of them were absolutely beautiful and stunning and gorgeous and I'm glad that I tried on a bunch of different kinds and different styles. I, If you are a bride and you're trying on dresses, definitely try on things you wouldn't think you're going to try on because maybe you're like me and the dress you thought you would get, you end up getting or maybe you get the complete opposite. I've, I've seen so many stories of brides going in for a lace mermaid tulle gown and they leave with a satin straight with a cape instead of a veil you know it's like you never know what is gonna fit you and feel good and so just trying a bunch of different styles trying different looks and if you're wedding dress shopping best of luck don't worry about the number you could maybe you'll try on 30 maybe you'll only try on five who knows but just enjoy the experience. Comment down below which wedding dress that I tried on was your favorite and why. Because, you know, I love seeing what people love about dresses. Everyone loves different things about things. But thank you for, for watching this. And I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah! <laughs>